come with me And you'll be In a world of pure imagination Hey guys, it's Kai and my friend and I are gonna go to our favorite burrito place in Tokyo in Tokyo and Japan in general, we don't have Chipotle. We don't have like a chain that serves us pretty good, you know, a decent burritos. So me and my friends literally had to go around to find a place that we think the burritos are really good. And we came across this place called Chili's in Harajuku. Uh, definitely recommend you guys to go there if you're craving some burritos or Mexican or burritos in general when you're in Tokyo. I see you as a phone friend. Cause I like I'm better now. Mexican restaurant called Chili's. I'm gonna be ordering the burrito. You too, right? Yeah. The chicken adobo. And you'll be getting the beef shiokoji. Would you say this is one of the best um, burrito places in Tokyo? I'd say it's one of the most authentic. It's hard to find a nice place, you know. Usually it's um, designed for Japanese customers, but this place is legit, I gotta say. I saw you out again. Perfectly sized. They don't fuck around with the sizing. That's what I like about it. Because you know in Japan they only serve like small portions. <laughs> you know what I mean? Facts. Yeah, we were just doing our taxes and Yoti has to pay so much money because he's so rich. So we're gonna go get some pizza now. We got a burrito, coffee, and pizza. We're in Japan but we're eating the most Western food ever, but that's just who we are. That is so true. <laughs> So last night after we got tacos, we actually went to go get uh, pizza for dinner and then we went to one of uh, Yotaro's friend's comedy gig. So today, I'm actually meeting up with a friend of mine who is going to give me a personal life coaching. So I'm really excited how this is going to turn out. We're heading to Chiba uh, to see him at a nice park near Disneyland. So let's see if I can get some cool shots. I dreamt of you eight times this week. Yes, I just miss your company. Cause time goes by the seasons change, but I'm still stuck in you. Still What's up, Yusuke? Hey, hey, guy. I'm Yusuke. Mm -hmm. I'm from uh, Kanagawa, Japan. And we're here today at. What's the name called? Kasai. Linkai, Linkai Park. Park. Yeah, Linkai Park. Having our first coaching session. Yeah. You did great, Kai. Thank you, thank <laughs> you. Yeah, so we talked about uh, what happiness is. Mm. How would you describe that? So the whole program is on finding what you love mm -hmm. and living a happy life based off of that one. Mm -hmm. And then because a lot of people tend to, I guess, stick themselves with money or with social status or whatever they've been taught throughout their whole life. Mm -hmm. We dedicated like an hour or two maybe yeah, yeah. on breaking that barrier and letting your mind free in this beautiful park on a sunny yeah. February day. It was amazing. It was just like amazing to sit down, relax and really think about what happiness mm -hmm. means to me and what I want in life. Mm -hmm. And you know when you're living a life it's busy, so it's hard to take a time out of your day to mm -hmm. actually sit down and do that. So mm -hmm. that was amazing. Thank you. Glad you liked it. Thank you. <laughs> I'll see you in like two weeks. Right? I'll see you. Yeah, I'll see you in two weeks. Second session going. So keep you guys updated on that too. <laughs> So in the session, Yusuke pointed out that we should never quantify our levels of happiness. And the reason why was super interesting. That once you quantify the level of happiness, it's gonna make you feel like you don't deserve a high level of happiness. But the truth is, everybody deserves what they want just as much as anyone that's next to you, right? And I thought that was super cool. I believe that all these things will work out and you have to act like everything will turn out perfectly the way you want to. And that it's gonna happen. 
So a little history with me and Yusuke. We actually grew up in the same town in New Jersey. Shout out for the New Jersey. But at that time, we never really spoke to each other, I believe. Oh, it was only like last year that I reached out to him, I think, that we started talking. But yeah, he runs a crazy YouTube channel where he teaches karate um, to you know people outside of Japan. It's super inspiring to see what he does and just learn the mentality to be successful like he is. It's just a great opportunity for me to grow. Wish I would have crashed my car on the day that I met you. Would have been better than the shit that I went through. Tell me about your friends passed out in the restroom. Thought it was settled. Guess we were on different levels. You like to watch with the bezel. I like the time when it's special. I wait on you for forever. I couldn't do it. I just love being in nature. Because when you live in Tokyo, you know, you're in the middle of all the concrete and everything. It's so hard to find a place where you can just relax. But, you know, if you decide to just take an hour train ride out from Tokyo, or this place technically is still in Tokyo, you know, you get to see these beautiful, you know, greenery in the ocean. And I just love to come to these places on the weekends and just vibe. I just take a nap like that. You can take a nap anywhere, guys. It's all up to you. All on you. You have all the freedom to do whatever the fuck you want, baby. Let's go.